Hello everyone and welcome back to Senna's Root of Noble Works. <clears throat> After finishing her congé, Tsukiyama-san wears a smile indicating her satisfaction. Good to hear. I tried it myself, but I was a little uncertain. It wasn't anything special. I don't know what to say. I'm glad to hear that. It was a good idea to make it then. If we are talking about who's better, I think that would be you. Thank you, though. Oh, right. Is there something you want to eat for dinner? Oh, good point. Sorry. Anything. Well, something that I can do. Only I can? What is it? An omelette? Not noodles or porridge or anything? Tsukiyama-san is pleading like a child. So cute! It might be because I haven't seen her act like a kid up until now, but she seriously looks cute. Fine, you win. I will put special effort into making an omelette for you. Seeing her delighted smile makes me want to grant any wish to her. I guess this is what being a doting parent is like. Do you want any specific toppings for your omelette? That's a lot of pressure, but I will consider it. I'll return to my work then. Oh, before that, Tsukiyama-san, can I take your temperature? It'd be good if it went down a little. I think that as I put the thermometer beneath her arm. Ah, for a moment I just felt something soft in a gap of her pajamas. C crap I can't have dirty thoughts. Think of something else. Um, this would be impossible for men, but how about a thermometer for a woman's chest? Like a, a breast thermometer or something? <laughs> what? A thermometer to put in one's cleavage? The thermometer of one's dreams? This would definitely sell. Even for me. That's the sleaziest idea ever. N nothing! Don't worry about it. For now, uh, just to uh, take my eyes off of Tsukima-san's white skin to calm myself down. While doing so, I hear a small beeping t ringtone. May I see the thermometer a second? May I see it? I check the thermometer for myself. 39.1? Didn't it go up? Even taking that into account, this... this means you're ill, doesn't it? Why did you lie about the temperature? I understand how you feel, but deceiving me by lying, that hurts even more. Or perhaps you don't like being taken care of by me? It's fine, this has no relation to work. I myself want to help you get better. I used to live alone, so I had to recover on my own when I was sick. That's why I empathize. I would have been happy if someone took care of me at times like these. Furthermore, a person can't really nurse their own self to health when living alone. 
It depends. I want to do this, out of my own selfishness. Therefore, if it isn't a hassle for you, please stay put and accept my care. Yes, in exchange for my selfishness, you can make your own selfish requests, Tsukima-san. Good. I tenderly caress the head of Tsukima-san, who seems to be wearing an apologetic expression. First off, get some rest. Anything. Is that all? I also sleep together with you or anything, you know? Okay. Damn it. I said it as a joke, but I sort of had my hopes up. Actually, if she had said, please do, then I'd probably be the one flustered. <laughs> what is it? Good to hear. Here, close your eyes and go to sleep. Good night. Tsukiyama-san closes her eyes with a hint of delight. I quietly continue stroking her head. Wait, is she serious about doing this until she falls asleep? Whoop! Remove sand as a test. <laughs> eyes immediately open. Sorry. I understand. My arms are getting tired, but I have to fulfill her selfish desires. Taking responsibility for my own actions is pretty rough. Phew, she finally fell asleep. I have no feeling in my arm, it might be sore tomorrow. I slowly take my arm off Tsukiyama-san while saying that. Her breathing looks painful. Her skin is hot too. It really may be her fever going up with no relation to her meal. Um, let's see, there should be an ice pack around here somewhere. Ah, found it. Wipe off all the sweat, then apply this. Looks like she's feeling a bit better. I should get back to work. I'm worried about Tsukiyama-san, but I can't just stay here all day. I slowly leave the room. First, cleaning. I have to be as efficient as possible. Oh, so tired. It's as hard as I thought for one person to clean the inside of this whole mansion. I've done the bare minimum, but compared to usual, it feels unsatisfying. Well, no helping it. A sick person in need is more important than the gratification of work. Now then, time to make omelettes. But I have to make them easy to eat. I have to mind the flame, making sure it's a little higher than usual. For now, I'll make some sauce. If it isn't necessary, then I don't have to add it. Anything else I need? Hmm. Because it was your request, Tsukiyama-san, I can't ignore a sick person. If you try to apologize, I'll get angry. You're welcome. Hurry up and eat it before it gets cold. Yes, 
Well, the only thing worth praising is my omelettes. The other stuff I cook is average. I'm honored. I watch as Sukiyama-san continues eating the omelette, her face conveying its deliciousness. Seeing her eat in that way makes me very glad that my efforts were put to good use. Hmm? What's wrong? You work too much, Tsukiyama-san. I think it's okay to take it easy every once in a while. My heart begins to throb as she stares at me with that upturned gaze. Leave it to me, Ojo-sama. Please be as selfish as you want. We are in the autumn break. Sukiyama-san smiles brightly. Her voice seems to be the same as usual, but uh, she is sweating lightly, probably not because of the food. Doesn't look like her fever has subsided at all. After you finish eating, let's swipe down your body and get you changed. You aren't going to take a bath today, correct? But you can't just sit uh, there coated in sweat. It's better that you wipe down and changed. I will prepare warm water and a towel. When I said you'd be wiped down, why did you interpret it as sexual harassment? Seriously? You're fine in your underwear? Wait, calm down. No way that's fine. Tsukiyama-san, your fever is causing you to say strange things. Please take 10 seconds to contemplate what you've said. That's what you were thinking? Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, but please swipe down your own body. I will I will not do it. If it's embarrassing, then I don't think you should give in. Well, whatever. For now, I'm going to get things ready. You may take it easy and continue eating, Tsukiyama-san. Ah, <sighs> what that girl says might give me a heart attack. Now that I think about it, it's always been something like this with her. Sickness, a smoking body, pajamas, defenselessness. If it's just my underwear, then very well how tempting she is. She sure is a natural. Really, she's testing my sense of reason. For the time being, I have to get the warm water and towel ready. Thank you. Here, your warm water and towel. Tsukiyama-san falters as she stands up to get dressed. Whoa, watch out! Are you okay? Has your fever gone up again? The fact that you'd stagger because of a reason like that worries me. Okay, okay. Okay, bottom drawer, right. Wait, isn't this underwear? Well, I understand how you feel. I do, but... 
neatly laid out are multitudes of dazzling underwear. It's like they were really shining, forcing me to avert my gaze by reflex. Damn, who would have thought she'd have a man go this far? Although the stuff I said about her selfishness is true, this is... What? This... <coughs> It's nothing. For a second, did I just see something that looked like a string? With that, in addition to fluffy, sparkly, wispy, I carve out of shock. Calm down, it's just underwear. The stimulation is too strong for me to fend off. Um, is it okay for me to look at this? That's your evaluation standard? Well, your reasoning might be correct. But men are creatures of many romantic fantasies and... No, never mind, you're right. It's just a piece of cloth. Just a piece of cloth. I'm just getting it ready for changing. This is just a piece of cloth. No need to think anything perverse. Yup, in order to prepare this for dress, I'll take this simple cloth and... Wow, what's with this sensation? Women's underwear is made with this sleek material. This feels amazing to touch. Wait, that just means I'm a pervert. This is no time to worry. Ha! <laughs> Here, I think I picked a suitable one. Is this fine? For sleeping? Those exist? Right, right. Here, how about this one? I'm going to wait outside the room then. Let me know when you've finished wiping your body down and changing. Huh. I escaped all embarrassed. Ah, so tired. Did she think it was weird? But then her face would have gotten all red. Who knew she would ask something like that? That, uh, the sensation of women's underwear sure is different from that of man's. On the other side of this door right now, tsukiyama san is getting changed into that underwear. No, no, I can't do something as low as peeking in. As much as I'd like to witness that spectacle, I don't have the guts to do something like that. I am a gentleman. Gentlemen, don't do such things as peeking. Don't do it. 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 Don't do... Mm hmm? Is that the phone? Maybe it's from Ojo-sama and Minamoto-san? They might want to say that they're almost back. You serious? I see. Very well. I am just about done here. All that's left is cleaning the tableware, so I'm fine. She's eating her meals properly. However, her fever isn't going down. She is fully conscious, so she can speak to me without any problems. Therefore, I plan to look after her tonight just as I have been. Noted. Okay. I will keep that in mind. In other words, she's been going easy on me all this time. I can't even imagine what that woman would be like if she were serious. Well then, I think I'll end this episode here, so uh, thanks for watching everyone, and have a nice day. Bye bye!